Number 60 in our Poker Moment countdown. And Sam, how well do you remember this? Uh, I can't yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> World Think Open fine. 5 versus Antoine Saoud. Yeah, I didn't fine. remember this because I had this memory so of, of that, that was being your first tournament you know, like, that you played kind of crazy yeah, and stuff like this. I, rem I remember playing this and now I think I have pocket tens. <laughs> and, uh, this ended up being a terrible beat. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. The funny. money should have gone in on a different state, in a, probably before the flop or on the flop, but I, uh, I played it a little bit different because I thought he had a big hand pre, so I nearly got away from it, but... Yeah, you end up getting very unlucky here. I mean, do you remember playing a bit crazy during that World Open? Like or do you just remember being horribly unlucky? Uh, I think I just used to play like that. It was just probably one of the first <laughs> times I used to play. I played on TV, so everyone just saw that. That's how I was playing. But um, yeah, I, I didn't play my best, but um, this is definitely unlucky. I remember this one. I think I flat call and it comes 10 high or something like that. And it is actually more of your style these days to do that kind of stuff pre-flop, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, back in the day from the small blind, I might, you know, three bet. Um, but Anton was playing quite tight that day, and when he opened under the gun, I just figured he had a real big answer. And this being your very first televised poker tournament, you must have just felt like it was Christmas right there. Yeah, that was the window card as well. <laughs> it was a slaughter. I think I misplayed this hand, thinking back. 30,000. Yeah, I remember my thought process. I was just thinking if I raise the flop, uh, you'd, pro you'd probably get away from a big hand. I wouldn't stack him, so. Cool. Okay. In hindsight, looking back, I wouldn't slow play on that board. Right, because if he's got ace king, you're you're unlikely to win much anyway, type of thing. Yeah, yeah and if it gives him a chance to get, you know, pop stack. control. Like, yeah. You know, I don't mind it so much okay. in position because you can. It won't get checked through on the turn, but. Like, he makes quite a clever check there. He probably, you win the pot if he gets that turn, yeah, don't you? Yeah, so I'm probably going to raise and uh, he's probably going to fold. Okay. Now that's a good check. Yeah, I figured he had ace king. So I was uh, hoping he'd hit that, that card. Obviously, when he checks back the turn, I don't take him for a big hand. So it's pretty brutal on the river. I, can, I only really lose to kings in my mind once and, he checks back the turn. And, and wh why not ace queen? Why isn't that part of the whole thing? Yeah, he, he could have ace queen, but he just tank checked the turn. I figured he might bet with, you know, at least queen or at least think about it, you know, with the uh, the double gut shot. Oh, you go for the big check where you're really going for everything here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things miss. It's pretty hard for me to have a big hand when I've uh, just called flop and then check and check again. So. Right. It was quite clever because if you lead that river, he will only call with almost every hand. Really. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It was the only way I could go broke, I think, in hand. <laughs> I found a way. <laughs> to get yourself all in. <laughs> yeah, I found a way. <laughs> and he doesn't even like it. What he does call. What is that? I'm so confident. Just look at your face when he turns the kings over. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had his king, I was so sure. That's what I thought he had exactly his king. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs>